it's going down. Shalom, first and foremost, giving God praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashon Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashon Yahweh Shai. United Kingdom inflation back to double digits. The cost of living crisis worsened in September on rising food and housing prices. The Office for National Statistics says. So down here it says consumer prices in the UK spiked to a 40 year high in September after slightly erasing the previous month according to estimates published on Wednesday by the UK's official for national statistics. The Consumer Prices Index CPI rose by 10.1% in the 12 months to September 2022 from 9.9% .9 in August and returning to July's recent high, the ONS said in a press release. According to the agency, rising costs on food, transport, housing, and household services were the largest contributing factors to inflation last month. Food prices in particular were up 14.6% year on year, while transport costs rose to 10.9% against 2021 the cost of household goods and furniture also increased by 10.8 percent it says fuel prices in september were still up for a year at a staggering 26.5 percent but lower compared to 32.1 percent analysts polled by cnbc say the latest inflation data will affect the Bank of England approach toward monetary policy in the near term. Britain's new finance minister, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Hunt, recently said that help for the most vulnerable will be a priority for the government in dealing with high inflation rates, along with delivering wider economic stability and driving long-term long -term growth that will help everyone, or so they say. Upon taking his post, Hunt reversed most of the tax cuts introduced by his predecessor, Kawasi Kwateng, late last month. The cuts caused a market upheaval, sent the British pound plunging, and were ardently criticized by both the UK power alignment and the public. The situation forced Quartang to resign and Prime Minister Liz Truss to apologize for mistakes and their new economic policy. Hunt's reversal of the measures raises the prospect of the Bank of England slowing its interest rate hikes, analysts say. And you, you, you people are stupid, you know. You're all getting complacent over apology that that a a, a high-ranking official, a female high-ranking official down there in Europe, you know, a statement she made talking about she's sorry and blase, blase, and you know, this this is how we must run things. And look, they're all working for the same common goal, which is to forward the new world order of the uh, so-called elite's agenda. But anyways, UK inflation is back to double digits. 
And at the end of the day, this is all judgment coming from the Heavenly Father Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai. Excuse me, Zephaniah. Let's get this real quick. Zephaniah, chapter three, verse five. And I just wait on this slow laptop here. Okay, it says Zephaniah three and five. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So every morning doth the Lord bring his judgment to light. And what do we see right here? We see the UK being judged. Why? Because of all the wickedness it has been doing throughout all these years. And you know it's scary because here it is, right? You didn't hear about the UK going through these kind of problems 12 years ago, 20 years ago. So they thought that, you know, they could just sit back and do all the wickedness they wanted and this, that, forth, and, and the other. But now, now look at it. You see, one of the most scariest things one of the most scariest things about the heavenly father through his son is that when they bring forth their judgment they don't have to judge you right then and there okay they don't have to execute judgment right then and there okay they can wait 10 years down the line before they finally bring judgment upon your country they can wait five years down the line three years however long the Lord desires for you to, to, to build up all your wickedness that's just like the United States of America one of the reasons why this country which is known as Babylon the Great in the Holy Scriptures is going to be destroyed it's because of all of its wickedness iniquities and pride that it has been doing and contributing to the world and the Lord is not with iniquity he's not with wickedness so you know and it tells you that in the Ecclesiastes I believe the 8th chapter because the judgment uh, against because a sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily it is therefore set into the hearts of men to do what? To do evil. But with that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.